Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3. We are playing as France and uh, we are being pushed out of Hungary here because of supply problems. Uh, we are being supplied through the port at Constanta down here and we are attempting to supply upwards of uh, about, let's see, we've got 100,000 men and 250,000. So about 350,000 men uh, between these two armies. Uh, we are attempting to withdraw the British Expeditionary Forces so we don't need to um, continue to supply them. Um, but they have not yet made it over here, and the Italians are being uh, active in these uh, coastal waters of the Mediterranean. So uh, so it's very possible that this uh, transport fleet will get intercepted. I doubt that's going to happen, but I suppose it could. Um, we have bombed this naval base into oblivion, and the ship is no longer there. Um, unfortunately, one of the major failings of Hearts of Iron, in my opinion, is that it doesn't tell you. Uh, if you destroy a, uh, an enemy ship uh, with a naval bombing. Uh, so we don't know if we've destroyed that battle cruiser or battleship. We don't know if it's out of the game yet. We don't do know that there are more ships down here. Oh, we just told them to retreat, apparently, weirdly enough. Okay, land back and uh, continue your port strike down here in, uh, what is this, Cagliari? Cagliari, yes. Okay, there are two ships here. We don't know what they are. Once they begin the naval bombardment, we'll know what they are. Um, okay, we are being counterattacked here uh, in Treviso, and we uh, decided to not press our attack on Venezia because our units are weak and outnumbered. Um, luckily, we're not having supply problems on this front. Um, Greece just joined the Allies and are taking Albania in possibly what is the easiest campaign of this war so far. There is a single Italian division in uh, Tyrrhene over here, uh, and the Greeks overwhelm them completely. Uh, so now the Bulgarians and the Greeks are on the same team as the French, and everything is good and happy and well in the world. Um, if I could convince these uh, the the Dutch and uh, and the Belgians to join the war, that would be fantastic. But I'm sure that at this point they're fine to just uh, set the entire thing out. Uh, the Soviets are marching on Berlin. The Japanese are doing fine in their war over here against the Soviets, not spectacularly. And in fact, these these lines haven't really moved much. Um, if I were the Japanese, I would want to take like these two provinces, uh, a couple provinces up here, just to cut the uh, the Soviet armed forces in this pocket off and uh, and reduce them here. But uh, I'm not sure that will happen. Um, Manila is no longer surrounded on three sides by the Japanese. It looks like the uh, Americans managed to take back um, a few provinces and are pushing the Japanese out. Um, they are still holding on in the south, but I doubt for very much longer. Um, they have the island of Saipan. Um, they have lost Marcus Island, but they have taken Wake Island back. They have taken um, Enwitok from the Japanese and uh, Mili over here, which is rather insignificant. It looks like they are currently engaged in the, um, the Battle of Panap over here. Moving forward towards Truk, which is by far the most important uh, port in this uh, in this island chain. Uh, port Morrissey, is, sorry, Moresby, is just fine over here. Australia never lost it. The Japanese never declared war. Uh, well, they did declare war, but they never really pushed down in this direction. Uh, so Australia was never really threatened. In fact, Indochina is never was never really threatened uh, by the Japanese. They did take Hong Kong, but uh, but they never moved troops in down in this direction. Um, nationalist China is just sitting the war out, which I guess is just fine. And we are pushing on Benghazi over here, which is A-OK, -okay, fine by me. And we might as well move in, I suppose. Use the tank here, and we'll use you over here. Let's do a little surround. Uh, make sure we take Benghazi, force these units out, force them to rebase elsewhere. Um, we haven't taken any uh, more important cities from Italy uh, in the last episodes. They're still only at 48% surrender progress. Let's look at their war goals. We've made sure to install democracy, and I guess we could install a puppet government if we wanted to. Why not? Why not? Okay, so we'll, we will now puppet and install a democracy in Italy once we take them, and we are about to take their capital, and I am A-OK -okay with this. Uh, let us move you down here and you into there. You're going to move into uh, Pescara, which is fine. We are being counterattacked in Treviso here, but they are outnumbered, and our units are doing just fine. I think we're going to need to rest these guys just a little bit. Uh, actually, there doesn't seem to be very many units here. Let's do it. Let's leave one of our infantry units behind. Let's see how we're doing here. Trento. Yeah, they have a one understrength infantry division. It looks like a Slovakian infantry division, too, who is currently attacking in Treviso. We'll be pushed out, no problem. Let's take Trento from them. It's a mountain province. The 
much better to defend um, Treviso, which is plains, if we have a bordering province that's mountains. And it'll, it'll allow us to attack this province from multiple directions. So now we need to reinforce our position here. Let's move you up, I guess. You're still a little bit damaged, but I'm sure you'll be okay. Re-up that reinforcement. Uh, we are retreating from here as quickly as we can. It looks like our supply problems are still sort of here, but we are getting some supplies to our units. They've been so long without supplies, though, their organization is so low. We basically just need to hold the line in the mountains again as well as we can. We will retreat when we need to, and we'll hold the ground and fight when we need to. So we'll see how that ends up going. Yeah, we are being pushed out here. But it looks like, it looks like we are able to supply them at least the majority of the time. Okay, we have, we have the British Expeditionary Forces over here. Um, where would they be useful? Well, we're doing just fine down here. Um, right, we got the Aldershot Command, the British Command. Let's start attaching these units to the Aldershot Command. Uh, make a big old British Expeditionary Army. And we'll move them up here to the Maginot Line. Um, maybe we'll do a a push again through the Maginot. Um, these are these are tanks. Um, we'll find a weak spot in the line, maybe up here, where we don't need to cross that river, and we'll try to push them out again. Um, I don't know if it'll work too well. Hey, we took Rome! Not really much fanfare or anything like that, but we took Rome. Let's see how far down that got them. They're down to 76. Okay, they moved their capital, capital to Naples. Um, they have how many how many left five plus six is eleven plus five is sixteen um, Benghazi is one so it's seventeen uh, oh we took uh, well it'll uh, Greece excuse me took Tyrane from them as well so that's another two da two down uh, what was I on I couldn't remember I can't remember what number I was on um, I think if we take Venezia from them they will crumble but that might be the most difficult nut to crack honestly Urban, urban province. And they have a lot of units there. Italy will now show the world it's not mere bombastic propaganda. Okay, so they have a, a special event that fired when they're under attack. I wonder why they waited until this lo uh, until now. All right, we took Benghazi from them. That's another point off of their total, which means they're now down to 78.8. And we will reduce their units just as soon as we get into this province. On the 20th of July... These units will cease to exist, and then we can redeploy these guys to protect the coast against any further invasion that Italy may decide to do in a last desperate uh, attempt to hold the line. Um, we are now giving up our mountain provinces. If we move out of here, we will be giving up our mountain provinces. Um, you do have supplies. Oh, you, you don't have supplies. You got 0% last day. Uh, I don't want to counterattack. I don't want to retreat. I think we need to move units in here and hope because I don't want to get pushed out of these mountain provinces again again let's take even more British expeditionary forces out can we fit another one on we can we can fit this infantry division on let's move them out this is one of those uh, rare instances in which actually removing troops from your theater will help your existing troops fight stronger Hopefully. Okay, you do have supplies now. You're actually fighting, but you are so weak, and you're being bombed. Hopefully you can put up a good fight, maybe convince them to not engage any further. Probably not. Probably not. Um, we need to take Naples. So let's push down here. Just keep up the advance in that in that region. Uh, okay, we took Trento. I do think even though you are rather disorganized, we do need to start up the attack on Venezia. How are our, our aircraft doing? Can you reach over here? No, let's do some, uh, some close air support. Let's uh, attack with armored unit, even though it's urban. We can only attack from two provinces, unfortunately. 
and two armored units and an infantry division from there. Um, this is hills, that's a marsh. Really won't be good to attack in either of those areas. We are being attacked up here. Not good. Um, yeah, the, that's going to... You're going to lose your, uh, your organization there without any real problem. We are still suffering from lack of supply penalty. Uh, yeah, this is not looking good. Not looking good whatsoever. Be great if we could push them out of Venezia here. I doubt it's going to happen. They just have so many units here in good territory for uh, for defense. We do have the better skilled general, though, for once. He's skill zero. I mean, he's going to earn experience here to uh, get him get him skilled up, but we'll see. We'll see how, how it all works out. I think we're going to need to call off this attack. We are too disorganized. Our units have been attacking non-stop, defending non-stop. They are disorganized as well. We've won Petrosani. Okay, we kicked them out of Petrosani. We're going to kick them out of this province. But we're going to get kicked out of this province. Okay, we're going to give up that... Oh man, this is, this is getting rather painful. And we're going to win this fight as well. Fairly soon here. Just as soon as you run out of organization. Um, you do have supplies. Not not a good amount of supplies, but you are getting supplies. You're still having major, major supply issues. Being attacked in Wissenborg. They're, they're attacking over the Maginot Line? Why? Okay, yeah. Stop it. <laughs> That's stupid. Stop it. Let's do a small air intercept here. I don't really want to cross the border. Yeah, they've got so many air units. Just so much. We're winning the Battle of Latoria, which is good. Um, we won the Battle of Latoria. Venezia is not going well. Uh, we could throw more units on. Here, you go as well. And you go as well. And then let's start filtering in these units. And these units. And we've got a couple more units down here that we're relaxing. Relaxing. Resting. Recuperating. We can keep up that, that attack uh, for a decent amount of time. Hopefully they don't have reinforcements readily available. We need to cut off this attack before we completely lose that uh, group of interceptors. Down to 13% strength. Not good. Um, stop attacking into that province. We do not have the organization to waste on that. Hopefully we can stop their advance here. Uh, hopefully the Soviets actually do something in this general area, but it doesn't look like they're wanting to either. Uh, stiff resistance all around, I think. Uh, let, yeah, let's take Venezia from them. I think we can. I think we can force our way through here. It looks like we can, yeah. It'll be an expensive fight. We'll probably have lost more than we uh, more than we killed. But uh, uh, I guess we have manpower to burn. We're down to 188 manpower. Not a good number um, in terms of manpower. Not a good number. Okay, we've taken Benghazi. Wonderful. Let's redeploy these motorized troops on the important port provinces just in case Italy decides they want to do something stupid. And we'll call that done. We'll call the uh, North African campaign completely done. One victory. We win. Um, Ethiopia, it looks like it's heading more and more in our direction even though the British are losing some territory. Um, yeah, that'll be okay. We are sinking transports. Yugoslavia is having random events. Albania is completely in Greek hands. And we are being counterattacked in Treviso. We're being attacked up here in this mountain province. We should be able to put up a good fight here, even though we're suffering huge lack of supply penalties. Hopefully we can put up a good fight. Um, but we are just about to kick them out of Venezia. There it is. About even casualties. About even. 
not too bad. Um, first unit into Venezia is a very understrength, very disorganized uh, medium armored core. Sorry, medium armored division. So hopefully you can hold the line against this counterattack at least until you get some reinforcements. Looks like you are. Now they just need to get to the front line. 2.5% chance every hour. They are counterattacking here as well, which is fine. We have units that uh, we aren't actively using there. And because we're doing so much conquering, we actually have a significant amount more of, uh, of uh, leadership to assign. So let's just, uh, yeah, let's just throw on another unit. Oh, we, okay, we pushed them out of Treviso. We made them stop attacking us there. Uh, they've stopped attacking us in Venezia, but they relaunched the attack on Treviso. Let's keep all the units that are there now there. Um, you guys come back to Vizcenza, and let's move the infantry up to defend Venezia. Um, what did that bring into Italy down to? 92.3%. I really think, once we take Naples, the war against Italy will be over. We are continually pushing them back. They don't seem to be able to do much against against us, which is understandable. Yep. Yep. Good stuff. And... Oh. Yeah. Sounds good. Hopefully we can force Italy's surrender by the end of this, uh, this episode. That would be great. Um, it won't help up here. Like, this is still going to be our weak link here. We really just need to... We need to keep uh, Germany's army busy in this in this region. We are so weak, so disorganized because of our supply shortages. We just need to hold the line as long as possible. Get the uh, BEF out of here. Are you actually a British? Yes, you are. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get the last of the BEF out. And move them up here to the Maginot line. See if we can uh, get something done over there. We might need to pull more of this. Uh, like we can pull another hundred thousand men out of the, uh, the East Euro Expeditionary Army. These are the uh, core that we pulled from, I believe, the first army over here, um, and then we replaced them. Uh, but we could attach them, reattach them to the Italian army, uh, bolster this uh, this front if we if we wanted to without weakening this front too, too much. I mean, we, we also need to count on the strength of the Soviet army to raid against them. Um, but it is disconcerting that they're pushing us out so easily down here. Just whittling us down. And, you know, we are gaining organization, but so slowly. Just, we cannot get enough supplies to the front line. Um, okay, these units don't use too much supplies, but every little bit counts, I suppose. So let's move them all over here to Vidin. And we'll see what that gets us. Um, we're going to let these units do some R&R &R up here before we engage yet again. And we need to nix the close air support's job because you are very damaged. And I think the important thing right now is to force Italy's surrender and just uh, and to just take Naples. Get these units down here. Get Naples taken. Um, the British continue to give us more and more... Um, Infantry divisions and marine divisions and all that stuff. And I mean, it's nice of them. Thank you. Thank you for all this nonsense. But really, I don't think that... Like, do some do some stuff with your own troops, right? Like, why are you giving them to me? I guess I could probably use them better than they can. But, like, honestly, thanks to the, the troops that they sent over here. I think we had, like, three full core of... Uh, of British troops over here, that's like 50,000 men each, so about 150,000 British expeditionary forces um, over in the Bulgarian-Romanian front, and honestly I think that was the difference that let us hold the line for as long as we did. And then um, he also gave us that little extra oomph to, uh, to push the Germans back as much as we were able to. Being attacked in Treviso by a single heavy armored division, not able to attack very well. Well, I mean, they're able. They're good. Heavy armored are good. They're just so slow and so expensive. They use so much fuel. Really, it's they're they're good units that we can't afford to use. I think is the biggest problem. 
Um, and if they want to waste their resources here, that's fine. Um, we have no real need to continue to push up in this direction while there are still Italian forces that may surrender once Italy surrenders, or may even flip sides completely once Italy surrenders. Um, so really we just need to take Naples, and the attack on Naples is going to begin soon. And I have full faith in our unit's ability to be able to take it without too much problem. Um, and if there is too much of a problem, we can always bring some more troops over. We're destroying so many Italian convoys, it's not even funny anymore. Um, we are still being attacked over here. Our units are getting very hurt. They're not getting many supplies, but hopefully we can... Like, I don't want to be pushed out of here because this is a hill province. And retaking a mountain province is going to be difficult. We just took the mountains, you know? It's unfortunate. Okay, we got small air search radar, which is fantastic. Uh, basically, better air detection, better night attack, reducing that negative 50% night attack penalty in half, well, by 10%, um, so that'll all be good. Uh, more detection might be nice, but it's not absolutely necessary. We'll leave um, we'll leave this uh, being researched. We are also researching drop tanks. Um, I mean, we, we can't compete with the Germans in the air. It's just not a possibility. What we can do is compete with them on the ground. At the very least, we can make them take a lot of damage when they attack us on the ground. So. We're going to focus on that, focus on our support, focus on our infantry, and make sure that our tanks stay up to date as much as physically possible. Now, we are doing fairly well here against the... Uh, looks like these are German troops commanded by Hungary. Which makes sense, because it's Hungarian-controlled territory. And there's another British... Artillery division... Uh, sorry, armor division. Um, these units are out and in Bulgaria now, so hopefully Bulgaria takes over uh, supplying them. Okay, we've won the fight. Oh my goodness, that's lopsided. We lost 2,000 men, they lost 7,000 men. Trying to attack into the mountains is ridiculously stupid. Um, hopefully they retreat a little bit now and give us some time to uh, reorganize, because this, this whole lack of supply thing is making reorganizing anything a real pain in the ass. And yeah, this is this is potentially bad. Um, Naples is urban, which means they they have a, uh, um, a territorial bonus. Uh, we have a territorial penalty. We're also crossing the river, so I don't think attacking from this province is necessarily the best decision we can make in this situation here. So we're going to need to spend a little bit more time. Unfortunately, uh, we're going to leave one unit here. I'm going to move you up there. I'm going to leave you there you up to here. I'm going to move you over here to Salerno, sort of like that, and we will hold the line with you in Saragnola and Potenza. Should be A-OK. -okay. And yeah, hold the line up here, reorganize. We have some very, very damaged units here that need a lot of reinforcement, um, and unfortunately I'm not entirely sure they can keep up, seeing as how we keep getting bombed here and we cannot contest the air. Um, I suppose we can do a little bit of contesting the air over here with these interceptors being counterattacked in the same province yet again. Our units got no reorganization in. Just a single infantry division attacking into the mountains. These are mountains, right? Oh, but this is a mountain unit. Okay, yeah, so you get fairly significant bonuses. Let's do a counterattack. Just one unit gonna be expensive for this one unit. It'll help these guys out though. Yeah, look at how quick that organization is going down. We want to get these units as much um, um, reorganization time as possible, which means not being in combat, right? How's that this unit doing? We are burning through this unit's organization, unfortunately, and they are bombing us. Of course they're bombing us. And we completely redeployed our entire air force from this area. Well, that's not true. We do have tactical bombers down here. And our multi-rolls. Let's try a little bit of multi-roll air intercept. Just in that general area. Seeing as how that's where it all seems to be going down. Okay, we have Italian multi-roll fighters and Italian bombers in that region. Let's uh, break off that attack. It's too expensive. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, he's going to get forced to break off his attack fairly soon, and then we can re-begin the reorganization. And here's this drop tank research. 
Um, honestly, I don't think that drop tanks should be just flat increased range. Uh, there should be some downside. Like there should be a uh, uh, like an armor penalty. I'm not sure because I mean you drop the tanks off before you get into the the actual fight. I know, so it's just like a straight range upgrade, but. Honestly, there should be some sort of penalty to uh, to researching something. Everything else has a penalty. It makes it makes sense for there to be penalties to uh, to focusing in certain in certain areas. You know, um, let's also uh, now that we have the drop tanks. I mean, let's continue to to do the air radar. Yeah, uh, we should yeah continue that. There's that battle one for us again. They have close air support bombing bombing us. Um, which is, yet again, preventing us from reorganizing. Now, we are working on the surround of Naples. Uh, is, is Britain bombing? Is that what I was seeing? Is Great Britain bombing that province? Yes, they are. And they're attacking us in that same exact province, yet again, with a single Italian infantry. So much for rest and reorganization. Okay, you are too damaged to be of any good. Let's move you out of there. Let's move you out of there as well. We are engaging them in the air, but we are taking our own losses. Uh, Treviso. Treviso is fine. I think Treviso is just fine. It is Plains. It's pretty much the worst province for us to be defending in, but we have we have some pretty good units there, and we have full dig-in modifiers and everything, so I'm not too worried about that at all. Trent. We're being attacked in Trent. They just brought what looks to be the entire German Air Force into the Air Battle of Treviso. So we are going to retreat our interceptors and not waste them. We're going to let them have the sky. As unfortunate as it is. But we're doing okay over here in terms of our combat. Let's see. We're down to 32% on one of our multi-rolls. I think we can continue this for a little bit longer. We won that battle again. There was really never in doubt. They really just need reorganization. Okay, we are losing too much organization here. Even though we're doing fairly well, we need to break off our multi-role fighters. Okay, we've almost got the, uh, the not-quite-surround on here. Um, actually, let's move you down here. To Salerno. That should be fine. Should be able to attack it from all sides. Just get them in a big old lasso sort of thing here. Why are you so slow? Why are you taking so bloody long? Uh, let's repurpose you because you're taking so bloody long. And let's speed it up a little bit since we're mostly just... Oh my goodness, again. Okay, we are retreating from this province. It's not worth this nonsense. It's also, you know, flanked um, on three sides. Um, this is still mountains, so I guess we're not losing too much in the way of actual defensible territory. But it's still unfortunate. They're going to find another weak spot of ours and exploit it. No, instead they're deciding to attack across the Maginot line with infantry. I truly doubt that's going to work out for them. Yes, it's not working out for them at all. Let's see what the uh, stats on this combat is. Yeah, we lost five men, they lost 805 men. Absolutely ridiculous. Don't throw your men away like that. We've only, almost got the complete surround on down here. And then we can start attacking. Um, let's also move this uh, backup fleet into the waters directly outside the Bay of Naples. We've won the Battle of Petrosani. We're actually getting some supplies into this province, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, one thing we can do is pull, pull the second armored corps. You are using a lot of supplies. Let's wait until you get into this province. Actually, no, let's pull everybody right away. Move them down to Burgas. We already have the transports down here. We're going to pull the entire second armored corps. Um, we're not going to move them back to France just yet, um, because a completely un... Oh wow, that's going to be a big fight. Um, an army up here completely unsupported by armor is not going to be a good thing. You need to have some sort of hard attack. 
when are you going to get into this province? But armor is uh, very thirsty. They require 13 supplies every day um, and a significant amount of fuel every day as well. So that's probably going to be the most efficient way for us to get our supply cost down. Yeah, this Battle of Treviso is going to be bad. Oh, it already is real bad. We're disorganized. They're attacking us from Bolzano and Belluno. Belluno and Bolzano. We can do counterattacks. Might as well. We don't have any armor in here, and this is a mountain province, so it's going to be really costly counterattack. But yeah, we forced them to break off Treviso. Let's break off the attack on Bolzano. And they counterattacked us in Trento and then broke it off. Um, we are attacking Salerno now. We're trying to work on that surround. Let's, uh, let's do a support attack here, just to make sure that that works. And yeah, I guess we'll throw everyone in here. Yep. Good stuff, good stuff. Still wasting. Yeah, okay. Um, and yeah, we're going to reduce them here in Belluno. And I suppose we might as well push up. I mean, we took it from them. It's a hill province. It'll be better to defend. Um, force them to go back. Let's move our tanks up. And honestly, that's a, that's a pretty good force to move up as well. We'll make Treviso, which is our, our weak link. Our weak link here is Treviso in the plains. Uh, we'll let these guys reorganize a little bit. And if we make it so that they can only attack Treviso from one province, that'll be good for our defense of Treviso. Being attacked in Petrosani again, as expected. Um, move this tank unit down to Burgas. Attempt to cut down on our supply consumption in this general area. Um, the Japanese are attacking our convoys over here. Which is to be expected. And we are continuing to push. Um, yeah, move to Barletta. Move to Potenza. Should be good. We shouldn't need to advance any further down south into Italy. Because once we take uh, Naples, which is going to be quickly here. Okay, we pushed them out of Petrosani and have been attacked in Petrosani yet again. They're just wearing us down. We can't reorganize at a quick enough level to make a difference. And it looks like the Russian advance has slowed to a crawl. Germans got their defenses in order. We've made it into, into Belluno. We took Napoli. Well, we, we won the Battle of Napoli. And soon we will take it from them. When will you get there? The 18th. When will you get there? The 20th. Wow, okay. And, all right, there we are. We've took Naples. Italy is now at 100% uh, surrender progress. We have the right war goals set. Um, at the end of the day, 17th of August, 1943, Italy should, well, maybe. They might surrender. They might turn into a government in exile. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Here we go. We enforced installed democracy on Italy. They have officially surrendered. We enforced puppet. They are now a puppet state of ours. Their army is now on our side. Their navy is now on our side. Which is going to lead to some interesting stuff. But I think we're going to need to take a break here. Um, thank you much for joining me yet again. We are still suffering massive supply issues in our Romanian front. Um, the Italy situation is going to be interesting because a lot of the troops that were arrayed against us are now on our team and are going to start fighting for us. Um, it looks like the Italians were not being relied on on the eastern front line. Um, and it also looks like a lot of the Italian troops were not over here helping the Hungarians, although there are a few, there are a few of them. Mostly what this means is that we're going to have a much easier time pushing north through these mountains into uh, um, Austria proper from the south.
So thank you once again for uh, for joining me. Um, yet again, like I asked last episode, go ahead and leave me a comment on uh, if you'd like me to continue this until um, the entire Axis are, defeat are defeated, um, including Japan. Um, I'm not going to declare war on the Soviet Union. I've never beaten the Soviet Union as anyone except Germany. Um, I've seen some people do it. I've seen the Allies do it. Um, there have been some awesome multiplayer games where the Allies, um, the United Kingdom, France, and the United States declare war on the Axis, take them over, and then, uh, like, puppet Japan and the like, and then uh, take on the Soviet Union as well. Um, they, it's pretty awesome. Honestly, I don't think I can do it. We're having enough problems as it is just supplying our troops um, against Hungary, uh, Germany, and Italy. But, uh, yeah, I think I've gone through this in, um, outro like three times by now. But uh, I'm going to take a break here. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you again next time.